Hi, this is David. Today we're going to talk about Azure Search. Azure Search is a way for indexing your own content, kind of similar to the way that search engines like Google and Bing index content across the entire internet. Well, if you've got searchable content behind your firewall, Azure Search is a great way to expose that to a search engine. To get started, I'm going to need some something to search. And there are a few things that you can search. I'm going to start with Azure Table Storage. I've already created a storage account. If you want to know how, you can. I actually have a video on how to create a storage account in Azure. And if I go under Tables here, I have one table in here called Presentations. And what I'll do is I'll go back here and I'll, oh, I'll reopen my storage account and uh, open it in Azure Explorer. If you don't have Azure Explorer, there's a link right there to download it. It's free, but I'm going to click on open Azure Storage Explorer because I've already installed that app and right here I see that I have my storage account I call DG Test Store and in there I've got my one table right here it has no data in it I refresh and see that so I'm going to import some data and the data I'll import is right here it's just a list of public presentations that I've done over the years so that's what I'm going to do import select the CSV file, click on open. It asks me for the, to confirm the names of these. I've got column headings, so I already have names suggested and it inferred the data type of each one. So I'll click insert there and there it inserted. There's about 500 rows there. It went really, really quickly and you can see this right here in the storage explorer. So that's just the data we're going to import. We can see that there's a city and a country, an event name, an ID, presentation date, state, the topic that I spoke on and so on. So I'm done with that. I'm going to close this, go back to Azure, and then I'm going to create an Azure search service. And the way I do that is the same way I do just about everything in Azure. I'm going to create something. I click on this big green plus button, and I'm going to type in Azure search right here. And it brings up some matches. The very first one is Azure Search. That's what I want. Quick description of what I want to do and some links for documentation and tutorials. I click on Create, and then I have to answer a few questions in this blade here. I'll call this one DG Test Search. Put it in my subscription resource group. I want to put it in the same resource group as my storage is in. You don't have to, but I like to keep everything together. Um, select a location for it. The West US is fine. Uh, pricing tier, you notice that there are different prices tier, including a free one, and I'm going to do that for these purposes. Um, uh, it's not as scalable. The big thing about the free one is you can't really scale it. Some of these other ones, you can scale them, and the more you pay, the more you're allowed to scale them. I'll do that. I'll click on Create right here. does a little bit of validation. Uh, one thing that I'd make note of is the fact that you only get one free Azure search per Azure account. So if you wanted to uh, make two of them, you have to delete your first one. But free is really just for training purposes and learning how to do this. It's not, uh, I wouldn't use that in production. All right, so it's went through there and in just a few seconds it created this Azure search service. Now what I want to do is I want to import some data into it. Now you can go in here and add an index right away, but when I import data, it'll, it can automatically create an index. I'll show you this right here. Add index allows me to come in here and give my index a name, whatever I want, and then in here add fields manually to it. So if I want to have, like for example, presentation date and specify the data type in there, I certainly could do that. But I'm not going to do that. Come out of here, discard those changes. Instead, I'm going to import some data. And it asks me where do I want to import the data from. Here are the uh, options here: SQL, Azure SQL, SQL Server on a VM, Cosmos DB, Blob Storage, or Table Storage. Well, I've already created this Table Storage, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it Presentations. And for the connection string, if I click this link, choose an existing connection, it'll list all of the containers that have Table Storage. And there's the one I want: DG Test Store, right there. And uh, in here, I want to give it the name, and I call this one Presentations. Hopefully, I spelled that correctly. And I could filter it if I wanted to and give it a description. I'll choose to do everything here. And what I need to do is go Next. And I'm not going to go through these other things here. These are all optional. So I'm going to skip them for now and click on Next until I get to 
this right here. And here it looked at the column names and it inferred that these are all of the fields that are available to me. And what I could do is I can say for each one of these fields, do I want to make them retrievable? In other words, when I get some data back, do I want this the, the city field to be included in that data? Do I want to be filterable? Do I want to be able to filter on presentation dates, show me everything on this date or everything between these two dates or after that date, whatever. Uh, do I want to maybe be able to sort on something? Do I want to be able to sort, for example, on the state? Um, and So I can check these individually or I can click the top and make everything like this here. And then I will say create an indexer. This will go out and it'll go through those 500 rows and it'll create this index. Or actually, what it did is it actually created the index and set it up. If I actually want to do the indexing, then I come to this thing right here, and here's the index, that does that. And what I can do is I can schedule this thing to run hourly or daily or any schedule that I want to. Um, you know, every uh, 17 minutes starting on a certain time, a certain date and time if I want to. For right now, rather than schedule it, I'm going to run it one time and submit it. Because if I said hourly, I'd probably have to wait 60 minutes before it actually kicked off. And now it's going to run. And you can see that it's off running here. It's, it's success, successfully created the, um, it's imported the data. Actually, I should show you that while it's running. If I go back over to my Explorer, which I have closed, let me go to Azure Storage Explorer. then I can come down here to my subscription and in my storage account there is the storage that I created just before I started recording. Here's the table right here and if I look at this there's the data right here. So it, I've imported all this data I've created an index and you see right here there is one index that's shown here and up here one index and I've created one indexer, but if I go into this index, right now it just shows zero document count and zero storage size. And the reason is because that indexer is still running. It takes a, a little bit of time to run. If I hit refresh, what will happen is eventually now I have 497 documents. Those are the number of rows of data in my data set and the size of that data right here. So here I've done, I've, I've created an index service or a search service and an index, and I've actually run that index against some data that I've imported. I'm going to stop here for now, and in the next video I'm going to show you how to actually call that search service to find things that are in there by name. This is David. Thank you for watching.